Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 7th of November 2020 and I'm doing new things again. Hence the lack of resolution and the decided muted quality of the video. Hope the sound is okay anyway. I'm doing it in chunks. I'm doing it on a rather old just holding together Lenovo laptop and some software that I got from the Microsoft store. So, despite the fact I'm saying that it's actually the 7th of November, it's actually bonfire night, the 5th of November, in the morning. Um, so, what to tell you? Okay, um, first thing is, this machine has actually got 20H2 on it. After the joy that was 20.04, they've renamed the next one 20H2 and it just went straight on i'm not sure, really sure what it added and to be honest i uh, don't really care so on the saturday i think it was around lunchtime uh, boris announced that he would be discussing later on a lockdown for england and it would be at four o'clock then it would be at five o'clock and then it would be at half past six and Twitter and the rest of the social medias lost their ever-loving minds because it might have interfered with Strictly. There's something about that, I have to be honest. So anyway, um, today being Thursday the 5th, the bonfire night, at one minute past midnight, England went into lockdown for a month. So, um, Exeter Bino on the 13th not only well i was gonna say moved around but it's not it's completely cancelled now uh, i had a very prompt e email from premier in saying they're looking to rationalize how many they keep open um, because they can still be open if you're working apparently working on your untapped stats doesn't count um, and despite the fact that you've had the cheapy version which doesn't give you refunds you can have a refund so i took a refund I'm still waiting for Travel Lodge to get back to me. Although there's a pinned tweet saying we will get round to you. And to be honest, the last time this happened, they did sort it out, but they were on the tardy front. However, in England, if you go to a Tesco's and you want to buy a book or a frying pan during lockdown, you can. Thank you, Mr. Drakeford. That's lovely. Um, and the next thing I'm going to be moving on to is what we can do in Wales as from next Monday. The information has dribbled out. Yeah. Communications, especially in Wales. We were never very good at it at all. And moving on, Friday night, Friday the 6th of November, time 17.23 hours, lockdown. Basically, Wales and England's lockdown. Thursday, Thursday 001 hours, England went into lockdown for a month. Um, my local authority district, Caffili County, has been in lockdown since the 10th of September. And on Monday, we will just be coming out of a national lockdown. That's what else for you. That would have been 17 days. Um, yesterday, was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Merthyr Tidville had the highest score in cases, and I'll talk about cases a little while, in the UK. That's off to Merthyr. Uh, they went into lockdown, I think it was 10 days or something like that, after Caffili yeah and we're all coming out of it now okay so when Caffili went into a local lockdown our figures were under 50 cases per hundred thousand now they're 230 odd um i'm not exactly sure about the whole figures but that's about the national figures as well so we are coming out and england are going in and yesterday we had the highest figures in the UK. Now, let us follow the science. 
the whole point of the lockdowns are to reduce the amount of cases. Although, as I said earlier, I'm not particularly worried about cases. I'm more concerned about people going into hospital. People have the disease and then go home and self-isolate for a fortnight and then go back out into the community and they're fine. Uh, I don't think that's a big deal. People who go into hospital who are debilitated or even worse, go into hospital and catch COVID. That's worse. That is much, much worse. And we have a thing in Wales about people catching COVID and in hospitals and dying in hospitals, which must be terrible for them and their families and the clinicians who have to deal with it. It can't be easy at all for them. So, science led. If the whole point of a lockdown, or as we call it in Wales, because we want to be different fire break is to reduce the number of cases then why are you coming out of the fire break lockdown when the figures are something like six times what you started at that doesn't sound like science that sounds like pick a number of days and then come out anyway knowing that if you extend it people are just going to ignore it and it was bonfire night last night and there was craziness going on uh, there was a post on my facebook that said um, the tidville area was a bit like a beirut which i feel sorry for beirut uh, with that explosion of the ammonium nitrate but what can you do anyway um the pubs will be open on Monday and I'm still not sure about the plan. I think if you want to meet up with three or more people who are not in your support bubble, i.e. four together, then you have to book in advance and you can only go there for two hours and you need to take ID. Now, you know me. I'm not keen on people. I just like going to the pub and sitting in the corner and quite often, especially if there's craft ale involved, just keep away from people and just drink. So two hours booking in advance, all that sort of stuff is not for me. I think I'm okay. I'm not altogether sure. Anyway, tiny rebel, follow the bear. We shall all see on Monday because the communications have been distinctly unclear, which is no surprise. Um, follow the science, follow the unclear communication. And as far as I'm concerned, you might as well do whatever you can while we're out of lockdown. I go to Tesco's and buy a frying pan and your Christmas presents because I have a feeling we, and I think that'll probably be the whole of the UK, will be in lockdown over Christmas. You heard it here first. So, um, I don't think that got a positive outcome about the whole thing. More tomorrow. So this is actually the final part of the Saturday wrap and it is recorded on Saturday the 7th of November. Um, the word or phrase of the week is science. If for no other reason than you introduce a lockdown because your figures are around 50 per 100,000 and then you go out with them six times as much. It's all over the radio. Um, I suppose it's all over the TV as well, except I haven't watched any TV, uh, but there you go. Anyway, so science. So what else happened in the week? Um, as to opticians and contact lenses. Okay, sort of my fault. Didn't see your email, but oh, please answer your emails in future customer service and all that sort of thing and frosty wednesday thursday friday um uh, well bed was frost on the car no frost on the grass pont breathe uh, grass frost 
yeah chili and it means all the peppers are now in and the tomato plants are cut back i had thursday off as you probably are aware and that was a really nice day the sun was out and there wasn't any wind as befits good high pressure weather and well i planted all of my summer onions they are now in i think i've already mentioned that and um, i started killing back some of the weeds yeah the lazy way um but what can you do anyway yeah um amazon so on sunday i thought hmm it's going to be cold in the week because the frost was forecast and after that issue with the shoe liquid polish and my duvet I really needed a new 15 tog duvet so I ordered one and it was said it would come on the 4th and then on the Monday there was an email from Amazon saying it won't come until the 5th or it could be later and I could have my money back and then it arrived on the 3rd and i've ordered some other stuff and i know i shouldn't but non-essential essential and it wasn't a frying pan by the way and they left them outside the house despite the fact that so they snowed and that they have lots of new drivers and the level of service and deliveries is extremely variable however i have got everything that i ordered so i'm not actually going to knock it right what else have we got um oh i'm still worried about pubs and things like that tiny rebel are still saying book a slot for whoever i'm supposed to be on leave next friday you shall see um bonfire night as already mentioned mirtha was like beirut and last night the six was a huge bonfire night and normally i'm too old for all of that sort of stuff and whatever but i was putting some stuff out on the line because there would be no frost this morning and why not and a large rocket went up a couple of hundred yards away and it exploded with a great big green flash and it was really nice and i was transported back to my childhood i became an old softy well there you go anyway two seconds and back after two seconds i thought there was someone knocking at the door but there wasn't so what else happened this week ios ipad os tv os um but not mac os for me because i'm still on mojave 14.2 uh, yeah broke google authenticator i tweeted google google support google uk and apple support apple support answered so here's the thing all my 2fa codes are in google authenticator luckily i have some of them on my android phone which is still working but i well anyway apple replied and they were very positive but they, in the end they said well it's down to google um i've seen some of the support forums for google and this problem was here in beta or beta 2 or 14.2 so google knew about it and did nothing as regards an update and i have seen someone who says uninstall reinstall and all your codes are still there but i am a little bit nervous so unless i have to i'm going to sit tight for the moment thank you google and last of all 2020 have you ever had that thing where all of a sudden there's something new and everyone's talking about it and it's all over the place and you never notice it up until now well quack or quack or it's not quack actually k-v-e-i-k -E a norwegian yeast used for making beer i've had two beers made with it now and they are absolutely excellent they are slightly different they are slightly sour slightly sharp slightly fruity dry complex but great um north brew ornament i'm drinking at the moment it's in an awfully glass um 
I'd recommend it. Got them in Tesco's because, well, beer, beers are essential purchases. And the next one, Substack. It's a little bit like Medium, um, but it's mainly for email newsletters. Everyone seems to be on it. Everyone seems to be posting stuff on their essays and posts about things. I like it a lot, and you can probably guess who I follow on there. Anyway, um, that's it for the week. I am nice and warm in my new 15 tog duvet. And I'm thinking about I'm thinking about hibernating until April. Although today is a little bit overcast, uh, a little bit sunny, but warmer. Oh yeah, M40 Swedish mess kit. It's a winner. So bye bye. I hope to have better quality video resolution next week. Um, different camera, but this has been fun. Ta-da.